Hi, I'm Chef Dio, and today I'm going to show you how to make my famous creme brulee. Creme brulee just means burnt cream, and is traditionally a French dish. But I'm going to show you how to make it Italian style. I do change up one item in the recipe. Now, there's only four ingredients in creme brulee. Let me show you what they are. First of all, we need egg yolks, and we need heavy cream. Now, there's two kinds of heavy cream usually in the market, 36% and 40%. The higher the percentage of butter fat, the higher the percentage on the cream. So we're going to use 40%. We like the little extra butter fat. We're going to use granulated sugar, and I use the secret ingredient, Mexican vanilla. Okay, first of all, we're going to put our cream in a large sauce pot. And this is going to be, this is going to make 20. So have your friends over for a creme brulee party. You're going to make a bunch. Two quarts, that's a half a gallon of cream. Now this is a cup and a half of granulated sugar. I'm going to pour that in. You go ahead and stir it up a little bit with a whisk. And we're going to heat this up to warm. Now what that does is it helps melt the sugar so it's not a gritty tasting in your creme brulee. You want it smooth. We're going to put this on as low as you possibly can go because we don't want to burn the cream. We just want to bring it up to temperature. Now you don't want to make it too frothy because we're going to have to pull the froth off after we get ready to spoon it up. So we're going to let that warm up and we're going to go do egg separation. Okay, a lot of people, when they separate egg yolks, use the shell. Well, if you got 20 to do, it can take you all day long. So I'm going to show you how quick I do it. And of course, yes, I did wash my hands. And there you have it. Now we're going to hurry up and do this really fast. Alright, that was quick. Now we got our 20 egg yolks in there. We're going to go ahead and add our secret ingredient, which is our Mexican vanilla. Now, I never measure because I'm a chef. But for you, it's going to take about four ounces of Mexican vanilla. I'm just going to barely almost coat the top of these egg yolks. There's your four ounces. I'd pour it out for you, but I'm not Justin Wilson. All right, now we're going to go ahead and mix up our egg yolks and our Mexican vanilla. Let's go see if the cream's ready. All right, let's bring it over and put it into the egg yolks. Now, the French want you to cuddle it in, which means put it in very slowly. But you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and pour it in. My cream is not that hot, so I'm just going to go ahead and pour it in and mix it up. We're gonna go ahead and skim off the froth. The froth doesn't cook very well in your creme brulee, so you need to take the froth off the top. Now we're gonna go ahead and dip up our creme brulee mixture into our ramekins. Now these are eight ounce ramekins, and there's 20 of them. It's a full hotel pan, two inches deep. And this is a five ounce ladle. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use our five ounce ladle, and we'll ladle up 20. One of the secrets in making creme brulee is a water bath. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to put 56 ounces of hot water because if you use cold, the timing's not going to be the same. So we use hot water right out of your tap. We're going to go ahead and put 56 ounces in each one. All right, now we got the water in. We're going to have to go ahead and cover them up with some aluminum foil. Okay, now we've got these covered up. Behind me is a convection oven. Now this is a commercial convection oven, but more and more people nowadays are getting convection ovens at their own home. So this is set at 350 degrees on high blower for 17 minutes. And we're gonna rotate them. We'll do it 19 minutes, and then when the buzzer goes off, we'll take them out and pull them off. All right, sounds like it's done. Let's check it out. Now, that's the hard part, getting those out of the hot water without burning your fingers. So we need to put these on our tray, put them in the refrigerator for an hour or two to let them cool off. Okay, now that we've cooled off the creme brulee, it's time to finish it off. 
Now we don't caramelize these until you order them here at Papa Dio's. So they're going to be in the fridge waiting for you to order one. Now I like light brown sugar. I like the light. You put a little bit more than about a tablespoon on the top and you want to spread it evenly on the top of your creme brulee. Pack it down so it makes like a crust. When you get her all done like that, I'll aim on. Now when it starts smelling like cotton candy, you know you're almost there. Well there you have it, creme brulee, or burnt cream as the French call it. It's got a nice crusty top on the top. When it cools off and comes to your table, it'll be ready for you to enjoy. So as they say in French, bon appétit.